Show me everything. 255 here. Yeah, what up? What up? Doesn't I say it all? What a villain. You know, I got a lot of things to say right now. So let's let's start with this. I wonder why Maximilian is not covering this game at all. And I get that Maximilian has the right to choose, you know, whatever games he wants to cover. If he is covering the video, I haven't seen an update on it. Maybe I missed it. But as someone who is the champion, so to say, of the face of fighting games, at least the most popular YouTuber when it comes to fighting games, I'm really shocked that he's not covering this. But he's covering Nickelodeon Bash. Again, he doesn't have to, but as someone who loves fighting games, as he obviously does, I'm really... I'm just wondering why. So this is not an attack on him or anything. It's just wondering, considering how much he loves a lot of these classic Capcom games, why he wouldn't be covering something as real as, as Melty Blood. Melty Blood right now, I don't know how commercially successful it's going to be but as far as bringing back great fighting game appeal melty blood is doing it it is doing it look at this background this post apocalyptic scenario this the these these backgrounds are great and in these character designs it's, it's what we wanted right the classic fighting game good characters great music Melting Blood looks like it's bringing all of this back. And it reminds me of the Capcom era where we had the Dark Starkers, where we had the Rival Schools. Um, what was that other? Power Stone, JoJo's Bizarre Adventures, Tech Romancer, Street Fighter. You know, when we had all these creative games coming from them, now it seems like other companies are doing it. And I'm just like, where's, where's Maximilian at? And this is not, I just have to be very clear, it's not attacking him. I am subscribed to his channel. I, I would just figure he would be covering this instead of um, Nickelodeon, Ren and Stimpy. Ren and Stimpy's cool, but like, I don't know. Anyway, maybe that's something you all can help me with in the comments. But uh, it's, it's just interesting that this game is not getting uh, more attention from such a popular fighting game YouTuber. Anyway, as far as this trailer is concerned, um, this character, he sounds like one of the side characters from Fist of the North Star with that whole shoo that, you know, that he did. I think that was, um, who was that? That was Ray, I think. And um, from Fist of the North Star, he had the fingers we can cut everybody up. And uh, Volve, Arkangle. Yeah, we did that sound effect. It sounded just like Ray. I'm wondering right now, though, um, if this game's going to be able to shake up the fighting game world. I hope that this game does get a lot of attention. And I hope that the attention to detail, I hope that it's not some bare bones game. I hope that the online game, I hope that this game creates a sense of competition that sitting kings like Capcom, Bandai Namco, uh, Arc System, anybody making fighting games or anybody coming up to make fighting games. I really hope that this game, that this creativity touches them and makes them feel like they can't sit on their laurels. I hope that Capcom has learned its lesson about thinking that it's steam can carry them because there's a lot of competition now so i'm hoping that because melty blood is hopefully going to be great and played a lot and it's not going to die it's going to have a lot of support being on all these systems i hope it makes a big splash i hope it's a, a classic i hope it gets a lot of support in the last so that as these other fighting game developers make they're, they're fighting games they're thinking you know what we really got to make an effort and this is what i love about melty blood this is what i love about this um you know see i mean about this character trailer is just 
we need, we desperately need. Um, it'd be great if this game was a success. We need more Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite feeling and more Dragon Ball fighters coming and taking a light. We need more of this so that developers will be forced to put great effort in so it will not give us uh, garbage games, right? This is the golden era of fighting games, in my opinion. This is what this is, right? This is, I don't think there's ever been a time period where we had the option of so many fighting games readily available to us. I could say more, but that's it for now. Yo, this is DeepMind255 out. One.